Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. So, I thought we were done with N. I was wrong. I thought I ended with the best, with the letter N, and that was Natasha. However, I was wrong. I have NYX, NYX products. I forgot, but I'm glad I kind of didn't. Do, what do I think about this brand? I don't know, but let's get into what is on my face, because some of it is NYX. So, for foundation today, I am wearing Born to Glow. I hope you can still get this. I have it in nude. It's different. Um, the shade is a little yellow, but I did make it work once we got the bronzer and stuff on. I do like the way it sits on my skin. I'm curious if they have other shades that might work better for me, if this is still available. But I do like this foundation. It's very skin-like. I don't think it's glowy. But it's it's nice. For under the eyes, I am wearing the NYX. Uh, right here. The Bear With Me Concealer. Now, y'all know I love this concealer. I think it is really good. And I have this in shade. I have no clue. It does not say, does it? Light, shade light, and I do like it. I actually have another one in a different shade. I just don't know where I put it, but luckily I found that one for this video, so go me. For under the eyes, I am wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Skin Setting Powder. For the rest of the face, I use my Bare Minerals to sort of even out my tone because it was so yellow. So with that powder foundation, it kind of evened it out and made it right along with the bronzer. Um, for bronzer, I am wearing the YSL in O2. I like it better today than any other day that I've worn it, and it could be because of the foundation. The shade of it is a little lighter than what I am, and I can actually see it's a very subtle bronze, but it's not my Armani. So, there's that. For blush, I pulled out the NARS palette again and this time I decided to go with Dolce Vita um I will say that I actually like that shade right here no right here <laughs> sorry right here this one here Dolce Vita I really like it it's very the powdered like I don't these baked ones just ain't doing it for me I'm sorry I don't know what it is but they're not doing it for me but in this particular palette the Dolce Vita now, I know they're made without tap mouse. I haven't tried those, but if they're the same or, you know, as far as color and stuff, I really like this color. For highlighter, I am wearing the 01 Light from Natasha Denona in the Hyper Skin, whatever, the little hockey disc, hockey puck uh, highlighter. And then for the lips, I grabbed another NYX product. It's the Butter Gloss in... creme brulee it's all right i will say the gloss has a good bit of a pigment to it um it kind of goes with this look so it works i didn't use a liner or anything but i mean the way it feels is nice so i you know it's gloss there you go um for eyeshadow palette i went with sugar high eyeshadow palette in the ultimate i also have the utopia these little ones I like the bigger ones, but I don't necessarily think I need all those shades, so I did gravitate more to this size of a palette. I only own two. They're okay, but again, you know, depending on where you're at and what is available to you, I can easily go to ColourPop, you know? So it's kind of tricky when it comes to these sh shadows. Are they good? Yes, but are they better than, say, another brand? When it comes to the NYX, it's equivalent to ColourPop. So I would say either one. Now I do think ColourPop has better than like CoverGirl, Maybelline. I think NYX has got better than CoverGirl and Maybelline, to be fair. But you get my point with it. Um, I'm wearing the eyeshadow base in Ignite by Sigma. And then I set it with the Charlotte Tilbury. So there is a setting. I could have set with this shade here, but I just set with that. So the first shade we're going to go into is this pink one right here. And I am just using my Natasha Denona 
uh, brushes again. I don't think that that makes a difference, but it could. In case you have this palette and you don't like it, it could be your brushes. Like there's always, if you don't like something, I highly suggest don't give an, like don't give up on it. Right off the bat anyway. Experiment. Change your brushes, change your primer. You know, do little things like that. Maybe even clean your brushes. Because sometimes they be getting dirty. And then see if you still don't like it. You know, or even sometimes it's technique. Now, do I don't really have a technique, so there's really not much to change there because I'm not an artist or anything. I just love my makeup. I used to think I liked makeup. Well, I did. Um, as a, uh, like an escape, and it still is. Not as much as it used to be, though, to be fair. Um, well, now it's more like a disguise. <laughs> although it works it still works for the same you know I still escape from life for a little bit and I started thinking you know people that don't wear makeup do they not have like what do they do to escape from life do they listen to music read books I'm just curious because financially, I kind of need a new outlet. <laughs> and then sustainability. Because Lord knows I got enough makeup to last me a lifetime. But I need an outlet. And I know shopping is an outlet, obviously. Lord knows. But also putting it on, we're going to do this dark purple here, is an outlet. So it's like... what do they do how do they, what or do they have nothing to escape from and then if they have nothing to escape from how what motto are you living by because i just feel like you have to escape from reality every now and then you know right i'm not wrong emma Whether it's just your job that you need to get a little bit of escape from, or life, friends, kids, whatever it may be. I'm just like, how do they escape if they don't, if they're not into, you know, makeup and stuff? Or maybe they don't want to escape it. Maybe they just want to deal with it head on. I bow to them. <sighs> Lord knows I don't want to deal with reality at all. But as I've gotten older, it's also a nice... Reality doesn't faze me as much because I'm like, mm, I've made it half my life. Do I? Do I care? Do I? Alright. We're going to go into this shade right here. I mean, I guess I should care. Considering I still have the next half of my life to go. <laughs> but it's a lot like I'm just too old. I don't care what people think. Say. Do. I mean, I don't want anybody to hurt anybody like that, but at the same time, I can't control people. The only person I can control is myself, and I can barely do that. To be fair. Okay, now we're going to go into this shade right here, and this is so pretty. I'm going to put it in the inner corner, y'all. Wait till you see this. I'm wearing the Tarte Fake Awake in uh, the cream shade. Let me make sure. Okay. My allergies, I'm telling you. Look at the shine. Just that little teeny bit. 
that's crazy like it is good formula now how long does this last I don't know I'm hoping all day I'm hoping but I feel like that that's where these products kind of start to fail is they last for about six hours give or take and then they go to you know then the shine starts to leave and it's like it just disappears you know they d they fade disappear the shine goes like all sorts of things so I'm really not for sure but if you only need it to last that long then it's a good palette to do but if you want it to last longer that's where I think higher end comes in I do at least that's what I've noticed again it's not always a rule of thumb but in my experience that's what's happened for sure all right we're gonna go in with the Clinique what is this high impact mascara I think this uh transfers by the way so why am I applying it I don't know because it's open and technically I'm not going anywhere I was I was wanting to go to Walmart because they have a new beauty brand there and it's the same owner as the balm and I really do like the balm their products I haven't tried them all but what I have tried I really like so I wanted to go and try it pick up some packages or some products and I saw that another creator I watch just did a review and she kind of liked them all for the most part so I kind of want to give it a try myself and it's called pretty smart which I kind of like that too apply mascara to the bottom lash line today I'm trying it y'all I'm trying it I don't know how I feel about it I'll be honest it's making me nervous but we're trying it and I only applied the one shade under there so we're gonna see how I feel about it but overall this was a pretty effortless look very easy to create and really, to be fair, all the products, even bronzer, blush, highlighter, everything, applied so easily. So everything that I mentioned that I use, I like, I may not love, but I do like it and I do think that it applies nicely as far as that goes. It's just, is it in your price budget? Is it in your color? You know, you know stuff like that. But none of it was bad. I'm applying the gloss again. Again, this is in cream burlay what is it cream what yeah cream burlay it is more of a peachier i thought it was more mm, i guess it is a peach pink which is good because you could use a peachier liner a pinkier liner a brown liner even and i do like the way it wears and it has a little bit of pigment but not too much I've heard good things about these butter glosses, so maybe I need to try some more. Um, I've heard good things about their lip liners. But other than that, I don't really shop the brands too much, you know? Be fair, if it ain't on Sephora or Beautylish, I don't really shop it. Because I, I have an Ulta, but I can't order online, and I do most of my ordering online. Or I go to Dollar General. So if it's in Dollar General, I'm a big fan of Dollar General, okay? daily I'm in there but um yeah let me know your thoughts on this brand I'm curious do you own anything um what's your favorite product do you have one let me know I may need to try it because I'm really liking the foundation and I'm really liking the concealer a lot and the eyeshadow is good don't get me wrong so 
But yeah, now we'll be moving on from it. I'm pretty sure that's the last one. I shouldn't be able to find anything else. At least I don't think. And then we'll go to O. But I, I'm pretty sure I don't own anything. So it'll be P. Yeah. But alright, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your time. I hope it helped in some way. Um, if it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all that way you're notified when I upload. I upload every day but Sunday, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.